Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome once again to another episode of The Cider Drinker and today's episode well I do believe we've got a Magnus clone on our hands although I could be wrong um, pretty much looks exactly the same as a Magnus but it's not today's cider is John Kepler's Irish cider so uh, well will it taste like a Magnus we'll find out soon but till then Let's get the lowdown on John Kepler's Irish Cider. John Kepler's Irish Cider is available in these 568ml glass bottles, which I do believe... Well, actually, no, it's not. You can also get it in 400ml cans too, if you so wish. The alcohol percentage is a pretty box standard 4.5% ABV, and it doesn't say what sort of taste it's going to be like on the bottle. Um, and it was pretty cheap to buy as well. I got this for uh, a quid from Home Bargain, so... Yeah, haven't paid much for it, so let's get on with the taste test. So, well, yeah, you pretty much saw anyway, but uh, yeah, it pretty much has the same shape as a Magnus, um, has the same sort of design as a Magnus, even with the old uh, foil on the top there as well. Um, so yeah, it looks like a Magnus. Will it taste like one? Who knows? Um, not much gumph as usual. Premium Irish cider. Uh, John Kepler's pretty plain label on the front as well. Produced and bottled in Ireland for Kremen and Radley, Churchtown business, blah, blah, blah. And uh, here's the, uh, where it differentiates between a uh, Magnus, because it actually has an ingredients list on the back. And let me tell you, when you hear these ingredients, you're probably going to want to, well, vomit straight away. Ingredients. Cider. Good start. <laughs> cider should contain cider. Uh, sugar. Mmm, oh dear. Malic acid and tannic acid. Mm -hmm. Apple aroma, right, okay, so obviously what I'm going to smell is not real, and colours, fantastic, we've got the whole spectrum of uh, additives and artificial rubbish in here, um, Ponzo 4R and Tartrazine, they don't sound like things I should be having, but, well, they're in this bottle, so let's get the top off and see what I make of it, um, it's quite a nice day, so... I kind of need a drink, I'm hoping it's going to be good. Let's go in for the smell. It smells, uh... Well, it just smells of sulfites, basically. No real apple aromas at all, even though it says there is some. Yeah, I'm just getting, just getting sulfites. That's pretty much it. So, let's get it poured into the glass then. Highly doubt there's going to be uh, sedative in this. If it looks like I'm a bit uh, a bit worn out or something, it's because I've just done the workout. So uh, please excuse that. But uh, there we go. I won't pour it all in, just in case it's not that good. And let's go in for the uh, colour. And from where I'm looking, it looks... It actually looks like urine. It's got a re It really has got a, like a greenish tint to it. Um, just on the side there. Massive, massive hefty carbonation as well. Uh, hmm. Still not looking that good in the glass, to be honest. But, uh, well, do I actually get any more aromas on the glass? Nope. Still just getting those sulfites. Uh, so, pretty bland so far. Will it taste bland? Let's find out. Cheers, guys. Here's to uh, John Kepler's Irish Cider. Yeah, that's definitely not real. Wow. Let's get a second opinion. Wow. Never thought I'd say this. I've got a fruit fly over it as well. That just shows you how, uh, go away. There you are. Um, I never thought I would say this, but I'd actually pick Magnus over that. That's, uh, you know what, sorry, there's a blooming fruit fly over it. There we go, got the bugger. Um, yeah, as I was saying, I would actually choose Magnus over this drink. It actually tastes so much more artificial and fake than Magnus does. I didn't think that was going to be possible, but this one has, um, this one's done it. It doesn't taste of cider, it's just 
full of chemicals, full of sugar. Oh, finding it really hard to um, re really hard to drink this because it's just so thick in its consistency, and not in the nice kind, you know, where you get the full-bodied um, mouthfeel. No, this is just so full, cram-packed full of sugar that it just instantly just jams up your throat. It's just so, so artificial. Um, yeah, this is not good. Um, I know it's like half the price of a Magnus these days, but I wouldn't even get it for a quid. Definitely not gonna get this one again, that's for sure. So, uh, well, let's go in for a final taste before the final verdict anyway. Whew, wow. I am really having a hard time drinking this because it is so, so, I can't think of the right word, but just basically so like thick in your mouth. And, um, well, basically, there's nothing real about this. You didn't expect it with all those um, ingredients added on the back of the bottle as well. Um, and as I said, even for a quid, I wouldn't go out and get this again. I would actually buy a bottle of Magnus if it was on offer and drink that. Because at least you can kind of drink this. This isn't quite a sink job, but it's very, very close. I'm going to have a very hard time finishing this glass. But, uh, well, not very good, unfortunately, John Kepler's. So you need to up your game. For a final verdict though, John Kepler's Irish Cider is going to get a 2 out of 10. It's not quite worthy of the bottom mark, but it is very, very close to it. Um, it's just, just about drinkable. Apart from that, avoid this one, even if it's going for dirt cheap. So, there we go, another episode of the Cider Drink of You guys. Hope you liked it, because sadly I didn't this time, and uh, well, until next time, I will be back with another delicious and tasty cider, which won't be for a couple of weeks, because I'm actually going to Barcelona next week. Um, I've already spotted a couple of bars that serve traditional sidra, so I'm very much looking forward to that. And who knows, I might actually be able to uh, bring a couple of bottles of uh, pure Spanish sidra home with me. So watch this space, and I'll see you in uh, a week's time. Until then... I need to finish this um, glass of chemicals off, don't I? Oh boy. Oh well, wish me luck. But take care, guys, and I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Cheers.